question, one of the main aspects in making works for me is thinking about the relationship between time, music, sound, rhythm, and sonography or choreography. All of these aspects are, are really very important to making my work because I think I'm approaching my work a little bit like a kind of painter or choreographer, the question of um, sonography, how the work actually exists in time. And one of the key aspects of making all my films, especially if one looks at a work like 10,000 Waves, is actually the sound composition exists for at least a year before I shoot any images. So that means that in a sense I'm able to sort of create a kind of world or to create a kind of feeling about the world that I want to depict through sound being a priority in terms of how you receive the image. When I first started making work, I was really trying to make work because I felt there were, in a way, kind of a lack of, in a way, representation of artistic expression, which and animated itself from a black perspective. I felt it was really important to um, make work and to have a voice to express myself as an artist, but also to express my experience to a certain extent. But I didn't want that to be expressed in a kind of straightforward way, that I wanted it to be expressed through painting or photography for film and through a sort of, in a way, experimental or avant-garde language. So the question of form was also really very important, how you would express or make a work. In terms of making works, I was always very interested in the relationship between art and culture, or art and politics. And one of the things which developed, for example, out of making a work like Baltimore, was I was invited by a museum, a museum without walls, that had a programme which was more making interventions into museums. Would I make a work that would be a kind of intervention into the kind of curatorial aspect of the museum? And I was able to bring these two different worlds together, um, the world of black wax works and Renaissance artworks and to bring these two, in a sense, Western cultures because the black culture comes out of really a kind of encounter with the West around slavery. In the playtime work behind you, you have three stories which are connected through three cities. Dubai, which was, of course, the new capital, a city that grew up from the desert through oil. Then we have London, old capital, the city where I live. And then we have Reykjavik, which, during the 2008 crash, capital was literally stopped in its tracks. And so I wanted to take these sort of stories and to embellish them in a way that would be able to tell or communicate um, to the audience uh, this kind of global theme of capital. There are so many works that I like in DuPont. I especially like the Richter because the Richter actually is very important in relationship to thinking about making 10,000 waves. And there are a number of works or photographs where I'm using coloured glass and it's panelled coloured glass. For example, in the work Glass House, which is showing the exhibition, where the relationship to colour and paint and its kind of montage of the way which colours work against one another is really centrally important and I took my inspiration from Richter in relationship to thinking about making those scenes and compositions.